Hello and welcome to Noradforyou.com and 4 hs by hscom The Cornet ED88T, RF, ELF, Electric, ELF, Magnetic and Frequency, Home Use EMF Meter, Operation and Instructions. Hello, today we're going uh, to explore the Cornet ED88 new Home Use EMF Meter. Okay, and it's all its features. So, what we have here is this is a brand new Cornet ED88 uh, meter. It has a battery inside, it's a 9 volt battery. I recommend using a, a, a rechargeable batteries. Okay, uh, in addition to that, let's close it down, close it up actually. On the back, uh, on the back of the meter, there's a stamp. On the stamp, there's a serial number of the meter. There's a, this is the this is possibly the location uh, of the ELF sensor, ELF magnetic field sensor. This is the location of the electric field meter uh, sensor, and this is the location over here. Actually, lies the RF antenna inside the meter. Okay, on the other side of the meter, what we have is uh, the LCD, uh, which is the meter is off right now, so you don't see anything. Uh, there's the LED uh, power bar, which uh, in this meter it is adjustable. You can adjust the sensitivity of the LED bar. You have the power button, the mode button, the hold button, um, and that's power power it up. Okay. Okay, now if you can see in the first second that the meter is powered up, there's here it is. This, uh, there's some info about the meter. If the meter passes this phase, it means that the meter thinks it's okay, so the uh, self test has passed. Um, there's a backlight, um, this, this backlight for the LCD display. Uh, for the first 15 seconds, after then it fades off uh, and if you want to enable it for longer, you just have to push the low button, the higher button and then the lower button again, it's hold mode hold um, and now the LED light will be on for as long as you need Okay. now this is the RF mode and what we have here, we have for the first time in the Cornet meter, we actually have uh, the frequency of the main signal over here. Okay. Then in units of milliwatt per meter square, uh, we have the highest uh, level measured over the uh, ha last half second, uh, over 5,000 samples. Okay. There's the max reading since power up or the last time we pushed and released the hold button and we have the average here and this is also a new feature the average is now actually this meter is set to peak average which means it will show you the average of the last 15 seconds 15 seconds average it's a new feature uh, it's also possible to set it up to uh, what is uh, known in this uh, meter as all average it means the average of all the samples in the last half seconds, all 5,000 samples. Um, I found the new average, the peak average, very, very comfortable. In addition to that, we have the histogram and the LED power bar, uh, which, as I said before, can be uh, adjusted for sensitivity. Okay, so this is the RF mode. Let's press once on the upper button to move to the low frequency 600 mode uh, in this mode we can measure magnetic field in units of uh, extreme low frequency magnetic field in units of micro tesla uh, and there's a conversion to milligauss in, in brackets here we can also have the maximum level measured since power up or the last time we pressed on the hold and released it in addition to that we have the histogram and the power led still functions and this is how it shows I'm using the pen to generate the electric, uh, magnetic field and you can see the histogram and the LED and the uh, measuring, measurement going up. Okay, next time I will press on the upper button, I will move into the low frequency uh, 
30 מוד, which is similar to the low frequency 600, it's just more sensitive, and here every small level, it reaches up to 10 milligauss, and in 10 milligauss it writes overload, okay? So you can see that it functions correctly. Next press on the uh, mode button I will move to the new E-field uh, mode which measured electric field of extreme low frequency in units of volt per meter uh, in addition to that we have the maximum level measured since power up and we have a histogram um, the LED power bar here is working as well um, now if I press again on the mode button I will move back to RF mode so it's you move from RF mode to LF600 to LF30 to E field and then to RF again okay additional features here is that you can actually uh, uh, turn on and off the light and the audio feedback and you do it by pressing the off button and then toggling between modes using the mode button Okay, so now the light is on, and the second press, another press will be setting the light off and uh, enabling the audio feedback, which sounds like this. Okay, uh, there's no much, nothing, not uh, enough. There's, there's not a lot uh, of radiation in my house right now, so uh, the levels are, the meter doesn't show anything in RF mode, but uh, it is working. Um, Another press, as long as the hold is still in action, the another press will turn on the light with sound, with S here, you can see the S. And another press will uh, turn off both light and sound. Uh, this is the most uh, uh, battery saving mode. I like to work in a mode in which the light, the backlight is on, but there's no sound. Okay? Uh, if you finish toggling between the modes, you just have to, to unlock the old button and the meter will come back and continue measuring. Okay? Uh, the final thing I would like to show you is how to use the setup. You know, to enter to the setup of this meter, you have to take a finger and press constantly on the hold button and then press once on the mode button release the hold button and the meter will go into setup mode okay so now in setup mode uh, we can we can uh, change the the settings of the meter right now the setting that you see uh, are the setting that I like to work with I set it up the units to be milliwatt per meter uh, square and the sensitivity of the lead level to minus six uh, 15 uh, dB uh, which means it will be more sensitive than usual. Uh, I like to work with average uh, as peak average. Uh, the max clear is on. The alarm will be set on when the meter will pass minus 20 dBm, which is about 5.8 milliwatt per square meter. And uh, all those in, all those setup are saved in in the meter setup. Uh, if I want to change something, you if you want to change something, you go down by pressing the mode button, and you change the setting by pressing the hold button a couple of times. For now, let's change the level of uh, sensitivity of the LED level. It can go down to minus 20 dB. Uh, it can go, it can be turned off, so no no sensitivity changes. Minus 5, minus 10, minus 15. This is the way I like it. Minus. Uh, the average can be set, average of frequency can be set to peak average, which means the peak, the, the average of the last 15 seconds to, uh, to show the max frequency that was registered or to show the average of the last, the last half seconds from the uh, 5000 samples being taken over and over again. Okay? So I like it to be on peak mode average, which means last average of the last 15 seconds. Uh, max clear is on. Uh, alarm can be set uh, down to minus 35 dB. Uh, let's set it back to minus 20. I like to set it to minus 20 since uh, in this setup 
it will the meter will alert me will will uh, sound the alarm when I'm about half a meter or a meter from the penetration point or from the RF source. Uh, this is very comfortable for searching our RF sources. The units can also be changed between uh, milliwatt per meter square to volt to met meter and dBm. I like it in uh, I like it best in milliwatt per square meter. It's also the most informative uh, display possibility. And now after we change all the setup, let's go down to save to memory. Press the hold button in order to save. And go up again to exit and press the hold button again to exit. Now the meter is set up and ready to work. So this is the ED88T, uh, a new, brand new uh, EMF meter. Uh, very comfortable to use, very informative, allows you to see uh, the levels in your house, to find penetration points and to find sources, to understand how the source has emitted radiation, to find safety distances from extreme low frequency sources, um, and actually reduce your exposure in so many ways. Um, very good meter, very recommended, more informative than the ED78, uh, more expensive. I already have, uh, have one and I enjoy using it very much. Let's see how the frequency meter and the peak average works in RF mode. For more info please visit noradforyou.com and foryhsbyhs.com Thanks for watching and see you next time.